make sure you uh, strap it up before you whack it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The B side word. So I saw this title this week, which is New Zealand has a hilarious ad campaign about talking to your kids about porn. Because mm-hmm. I think eventually I'm going to have to talk to my three boys about porn because they're going to accidentally see it or their friends are going to see it and tell them about it or something's going to happen. So I thought this was very relevant to me and I thought it was very, the ad was very, very good. Okay. So should okay. we play it? Yes. Goodness gracious me. Hiya, I'm Sue. This is Derek. We're here because your son just looked us up online, you know, to watch us. <laughs> Matt! Matt, darling, there's some people here to see you. <laughs> so he watches you online? Yeah, you know, on his laptop. iPad, PlayStation. Mm, his phone, your phone. <laughs> Smart TV Love projector. This. Yeah, anyway, we usually perform for adults, but your son's just a kid. He might not know how relationships actually work. We don't even talk about consent, do we? Now we just get straight to it. Yeah, and I'd never <laughs> act like that in real life. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Maddie. Kid kid drops the bowl. Okay, Sandro, stay calm. You know what to do here. All right, Maddie. It sounds like it's time to have a talk about the difference between what you see online and real life relationships. No judgment. Many young Kiwis are using porn to learn about sex. Keep it real online. Get help and advice at keepitrealonline.govt.nz. I just want to finish with uh, finish with Anchorman quote. What's the Anchorman quote? Keep it classy. Oh. <laughs> Keep it classy, San Diego. <laughs> um, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Goodness. That's 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 a great way. Like, it's a fun way to introduce. Not yeah. introduce. <laughs> There's no fun way to what, introduce send porn. porn stars to the family <laughs> yeah. of a kid that starts to watch porn. And they went naked at the door, by the way. Eh? For the listeners, they were naked I would at the not door. want my kids to be introduced to porn that way. No, no, I wouldn't be there. <laughs> but like, it's just weird. Um, not weird, but like, there's like in my the my culture in the the Filipino culture, it's like taboo. It's not a thing that families come together and talk about sex with. Like, there's no like sex talk. Mm-hmm. You know how some people go. You see on the movies, oh, I think it's time to talk about the birds and the bees. There was none. I didn't have a discussion like that with my parents. Mm -hmm. So, but like... I don't believe I did did. I did. I know Emma did. I don't believe I did. (laughs) Oh, well, okay. Okay. So, Maxi, let's go with Maxi first. Maxi, what was your your talk about? Um, So, I'm sat in the kitchen and my (laughs) dad and his uh, then girlfriend, now wife, is sat in the room next to me in the living room. And um, I was talking to a friend of mine about girls, like nothing sexual or anything, but I overheard my dad's girlfriend say to him, I think you need to have a chat with Maxi about like <laughs> this. I was about 15 at the time. <laughs> and then my dad walked into the room and goes, Maxi, I need to talk to you about something. I was like, yeah. He goes, make sure you uh, strap it up before you whack it up. And, I went, okay. <laughs> and that was the talk I had. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> when, he, when he went back in the room, did you hear her reaction to? <laughs> uh, I heard her reaction to his teachings before he walked back in the room. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! He went, Dave. <laughs> he went, what? what else do you want to know, Maxie? And I was like, I don't know. I think I got it assessed. He was like, cool. <laughs> Obviously, that best. that was a long-lasting impression because you remember <laughs> the exact line. Oh, yeah, that's like, the best. You said too much. I would have got the message would have got lost in the detail, right? Like, <laughs> that is very clear. Nothing about emotions or consent or anything, but very, very uh, fact, like very objectively. If you do this, you will be safer. Let's do that. Yeah, Good. it's not. <laughs> Oh was your discussion yeah. more deeper, Emma? No, I think I was younger and it's more about the birds and the bees, I think. Oh, literally, the birds, you got the birds and the bees I speech. Mean, I can't really remember because nah, I have a bad memory no anyway. Way. If you got the birds and the bees, I'll be... Because this is the reason I say it, I don't remember. Well, no, I don't remember ever having the conversation because I remember the first time I consciously talked about anything sexually related with my parents and it, it was with my dad, not with my mum. It was just about when I left university. Bearing in mind, I was 24 at this time. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. man. Oh, no, no. I was 22. I was 22 is when I transferred. It was in the middle of my... I was 22 still. I was 22. 
I remember saying to my dad, like we were in the car and my mum went to get out of the car to go to the cash machine in the wall. So I was just like, yeah, when I left, uh, when I left Leo, my friend JC, she, uh, she got me a stripper. Uh, it was really weird. And that was about <laughs> it. <laughs> um, Wait, that was your sexual conversation? No, 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 I'm saying that was the first time I remember consciously having it, which is why I feel like I don't rem remember ever having a birds and the bees or anything, oh, we which had, is why I, I find I, it strange if you had a birds and the bees. No, we I had multiple. Like, I think that was... them and you talked about it. No, Not... I remember mine was at the they dining table, dining table with mum, but I'm sure, I'm sure we've had conversations with, with both of them as well, but... um just about you know don't let a guy force you or yeah. pressure you and yeah. you know this and that um you can always come to us if you have any questions or concerns whatever so i got the full shebang and i just oh, can't remember the, the exact i think i think my parents um thought that the first time like i had um sex was when the baby came out <laughs> <laughs> <S-E-X>. <laughs> it's like oh they've had it three times right. okay <laughs> No more. <laughs> We're just fine. Oh, dear. Anyways, so um, Emma, because Emma said um, that she wants to be, like, I'd have an open discussion with our boys. Yeah. And, like, in my head, I'm like, open discussion? Gonna... I don't want to know. I don't know. What... Is, that like, is that, like, props and everything? <laughs> Wait, no props. But you might have to show them. Huh? Yeah. For them what without props? <laughs> you, need to, no, you need one prop to show. But like, um, no, I definitely want open conversations. By prop, I mean the the square packet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We know what props so you're think, talking about. Okay. So you can direct do a video instead of having to show them more, himself. Um, yeah. <laughs> what I think is really interesting about this though, is this this idea of talking to them about porn. Yeah. But I think that, to be honest is almost more of an important conversation than the sex conversation. I do actually mm. agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Um, because. It, and I love the way that adverts put together. Mm. It's a brilliant way to, to make that a conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there was a documentary. I can't remember what it was called. And they were, it was school kids. I think upper primary and then like some high school kids as well. And the producers showed them. Like, so they had like all these pictures and that was like, what's, what's natural. And it had like hairless woman and um, <laughs> big boobs, whatever. And everyone went for like hairless, massive boobs. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, and they yeah, thought yeah. that was natural. That's normal. They Not thought natural, that was normal. normal. They thought yeah. that was normal and yeah. stuff like that. And, and they were all like so shocked when they got shown, well, no, actually this is normal. And they're yeah. like, ew. They were like literally like, <laughs> ew. Like what? And That's then there was like young girls and young guys even like, oh, I'd be like, I wouldn't do that. I'd be clean and everything. I'd like clean shave it. And yeah. they were like young. And I was like, wow. You know what? You know what though? Like um, you, you, you said that the kids got shown that. But like, I don't know why my reactions are when um you see – like unshaven armpits or something. And my first reaction is like, Ew. and then I go, hang on a sec. Like <laughs> unshaven armpits. Yeah, like a woman with unshaven arms. I go, Ooh. and then what? I think about hairy it for armpits. a sec. Hairy armpits, most people refer to them as. Wait, do you want hairy armpits? No, I yeah, don't want hairy armpits. Off. But when oh. I see hairy armpits. Unshaven. Like, it was, um... You said, un oh, I thought you said when you see shaved armpits. Oh, did like, I say Ew. shaved? No, you said unshaven because oh. we're saying it's a weird way to say hairy armpits. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I thought it was just like, like oh, yeah. is that, and then went, is that oh, paint okay. unwet now? Is that paint unwet? <laughs> yeah, <it's> right, then. <laughs> so when I got out of the shower, I was unwet. <laughs> I mean, I was wet. <laughs> anyway, so like, yeah, my reaction is still the same. So I must have a to this, hairy armpits. Yeah, so I must have this un unshaven, and I <laughs> I must have this perspective. Of how women should be. You, still. yeah, like, like, like hairy legs and hairy armpits. It? Like that. What was that? You've been taught that's how they, it's a culturally assigned yeah. section. Yeah. Like you, you should look like this. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, and it's and so ingrained like as well. To be attracted to this. It's mm. massively ingrained. But I was exactly. shocked by the age of the, the kids that were like, no, that's not normal. Like that's, uh, mm. and that, that's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I, when you say that, considering. Like, don't think about it from our, our perspective, but kids these days having access to the internet from day dot. Like, are you that surprised they were that young and that How exposed? old were the kids? Like, when you really think about Some it. Some of them were, like, upper primary. Like, I think year six, let's say. Because I'm thinking, I was grossed out by my dad's hairy chest when I was a kid. 
and that's normal. But I was just because I was a kid and I didn't have hair anyway. I, anything with hair, I was like, Ugh, why do you have hair in those places? Oh, oh, oh true, true. But there was some also some high school kids as well. But yeah. also the size of the boobs. That's really the bums. Yeah, hair in general, because like um. Like, I think when I got my first pube, I was like, what the hell is this? And I plucked it. I plucked it. I was like, what's this shit? I go, what the hell is this? This is not supposed really? to be here. I was but- the opposite. I was very late to the party, so I wanted them. I was like, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to water them and replant them. I was like, come on, I want more of these. <laughs> I was, was going to ask. I want to be a man. You were the first one or something. Oh my goodness. I remember being in like late primary school and lying about the length of mine as if they were like, I thought the longer the better. I was like, yeah, mine are like as long as my, at least longer than my finger, you know. (laughs) They're like, really? No, mine's longer than that. I'm like, oh, you must be a proper man then. (laughs) We're talking talking about pubes, right? We're talking about. <laughs> We're talking about pubes. Like, I mean, that's a dark road. And I think the more I think about my relationship with pubes growing up, the more of a weird childhood I had when it comes to those things. Mm-hmm. See, is it weird or is it just uh, that like, devil saying like the taboo thing that a lot? So of this is disgusting, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna say anyway. And I don't know where oh. we should put in the podcast. This okay. is. Emma, did you just try and put your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> Emma tried to cover her ears by putting it over the headphones. <laughs> so Go. this this was a thing. And no one, the outcome wasn't as gross as the planned outcome. But we was on a bus on the way to Germany. Must have been 14 years old or 13 years old. And I hadn't, I hadn't had any by then. So I was quite late, right? And then we played a game. And don't ask me how we came up with this game. But there was a biscuit <laughs> on a seat. And the last person to get a pube onto the biscuit had to eat the biscuit. Oh, that—that that, that was a game. That is a. I, I understand how you got to that game because that is a game. There's one with semen. Yeah, that's soggy yeah. sayo. Soggy <laughs> sayo. So that, that was the discussion yeah, first, and we decided to do pubes instead because yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's but that's one. That's I didn't have any one. at the time, so I just pulled. I pulled a hair on my head and put <laughs> my head hair on it because, fortunately for me, I have hair that looks kind of puby. So I kind of got away with it, I think. Or they all knew and was like, oh, I don't think Maxie has pubes. He just put a head hair on them. <laughs> Someone ate that? I don't know. No one ate it in the end. I think because it was a debate of who was last. And then whoever was last decided they, they were like, I won't even play in the game. And they're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, of that course. Means you were no last. one's eating like, that. No. no one's ever eating that. We are a strange Listen creature. Listen to our reactions to that, to that story. It's very clear that boys have a very different upbringing to girls. Yeah. Like, Emma's reaction to the pube on the biscuit, and me and Dev were both like, no, no, it's a worse version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> the one that they're 100%. referring to is called Soggy Biscuit. Yeah, well, well, ours is, in said, Australia, it's called Soggy right? Sayo. Soggy, soggy Sayo? Yeah. Ah, oh, so, we call it Soggy premise. Biscuit. Sayo, no, Sayo's what? a biscuit. Sayo's a biscuit, or like a big square biscuit. Cracker. A cracker. And anyway. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>